Hello everybody, welcome to the IGCSP Passion. Today we will be discussing Chapter 15, Drugs from the IGCSE Syllabus for Biology 0610. So let's start with the points that you need to know. Uh, you need to know uh, the definition of a drug, describing the use of an antibiotic, uh, and stating what is an anti antibiotic resistance, as well as knowing what an, can an antibiotic kill and what can it not. And lastly, we will be discussing uh, ways to prevent antibiotic resistance and an example about antibiotic resistance. So let's start with our theoretical part that you don't really need to memorize anything about it. You don't need to know about the date that have been, like the discovery date, the scientist. You just need to know that there's something called penicillin. But I will be discussing it anyways. So we have Alexander Fleming discovery. In 1928, he was studying the behavior of some bacteria. Later, when he left it for a long time, he noticed that it got contaminated with mold fungus. Now, I'll be pausing right now and I'll tell you that if you don't really recall what is a mold fungus or characteristics about fungus, then I recommend going back to chapter 1 and revising it as there are a lot of questions that will be asked on chapter 1. Going back to the lesson, but the bacteria near the mold got killed. So what we can conclude from that is that fungus can kill bacteria. And here is when Fleming made the first antibiotic, penicillin. Okay, so what is a drug? Now this is one of the questions that IDCSE really loves. So they would ask a lot about it in paper four. You can take three marks, to be honest. Like there would be three, four marks on the keywords and you can take four marks for free just by memorizing the definition. So let's go through this definition. It is any substance that is ingested. This is a key word that you should add in your definition. Sorry for um, mishighlighting it. Into the body and it would influence the way the body works. By what? By modifying, this is a key word as well, the chemical reactions of the body. This is our last key term. Okay. So you need to memorize that uh, you need to memorize it in this way. Okay. So medical bacteria, it is used to treat symptoms caused by a disease, but still it can be harmful, such as antibiotics that kill bacteria and stop them from reproducing. So put in mind that not all bacteria are harmful in your body. Some are important for you to live. So by using an antibiotic um on like a uh, daily basis that can really affect uh, the like the non-harmful bacteria in your body. So be careful while using antibiotics. Now antibiotics are drugs that you that are used to control many kind of bacterial infection. Okay, so let's just uh, highlight the keywords. It's a drug, and what does it modify? It modifies uh, the uh, like. The activity of a bacterial infection. Okay, it does not affect viruses. Why is that? It is because viruses does not have, like it does not contain any cell wall. So what does an antibiotic do? Now, uh, the the process of an antibiotic to help you to get over a bacterial infection is by killing the cell wall, and by killing the cell wall, uh, the bacteria won't be able to reproduce and in that way it can control the activity of a bacterial infection. And that's why we go back and say that antibiotics cannot kill viruses. Viruses do not have a cell wall. Okay? Uh, so that's why we don't use an antibiotic for a flu. Moving on, we have the antibiotic resistance. So what happens is that some bacteria is not affected by antibiotics. Why is that? That is because of antibiotic resistance. The more that you use antibiotics, the more the antibiotic resistance will develop. So there will be a natural selection that will happen when you use an uh, antibiotic on a daily basis. And in that way, it will no longer be effective. So an, a great example for that is the MIRSA. It is an 
antibiotic resistance bacterium. Uh, you don't really need to know the, the, like the name of this bacteria, what does it stand for, or something like that. But you should know that it would grow on human skin, nose, and throat without causing a problem if you were healthy. But an unhealthy person may get infected by it, causing a skin, nose, or a throat infection, and sometimes pneumonia and death. Okay? So if you don't know what's a pneumonia or something like that, you can search about it but it is not required in your syllabus. Now, an antibiotic resistance suggests an evolution through na natural selection, as I said earlier. Now, if you want to know more about it, go back to chapter 19. It will contain more information about natural selection. As bacteria develop resistance, um, treatments are getting fewer. So this may cause death from simple bacterial infection. So what to do? This is not good. We have a way to stop that uh, by using antibiotic only when it is essential. Second point is using the most suitable antibiotic to treat an infection. So you need to choose a very specific antibiotic for a very specific bacterial infection, not for every infection. And put in mind, let's just repeat that point, which is you cannot use an antibiotic for a viral infection. Now, there are some practice past papers that I added. Uh, now, I recommend searching through the newest past papers as these ones I got them, uh, sorry, those ones I got them from uh, Physics and Math Tutor, and I guess they didn't quantify it since, I guess, 2019. So, go ahead and search for the newest past papers to find more questions. And I'll be solving these questions, like, in the meantime, I, I won't be solving them, but I'll be solving them in the upcoming uh, short videos that I'll be uploading them during the upcoming weeks. So here we have a paper 2 question. Any questions that you are having some doubts about it, or if you didn't really understand it, then please write in the comments. Um, what also? Let's move on. Uh, you can stop the video whenever you feel that I'm moving very fast and start solving them and you can write your answers in the comments so I'll be checking them. This is from paper 4. Uh, I will go over that because uh, you may not know what's a water jacket or addition of acids or alkalis in a fermenter. Uh, because this one is found in the last chapter of the syllabus. You need to know how to read graphs, as you can see. There are a lot of questions about graphs in paper 4, so you need to learn about how to learn, uh, sorry, how to read a graph. More questions. This, this, these questions came from the question before. This one contains some pictures, um, okay. These ones can be also brought in paper 6 if you're having some doubts about it. Um, so just why people are giving these advices. Okay, um, an experiment right there. As you can see, you will be defining what is an antibiotic. Okay. And here, this is a, a combined question came, coming from um, paper, sorry, from uh, chapter one. It's talking about the structure of viruses and bacterium. Uh, bacteria is a prokaryote, virus is a virus, and it is not in the kingdom. So there is a special part for it for uh, the supplement students. Here, it's talking about HIV. HIV is from chapter 16, so it's okay if you didn't understand what is an HIV. Uh, I'll be making a video about chapter 16 soon. And this is all for today. Hope that I helped you. Any questions that you're having, please don't hesitate to ask me. And good luck in your upcoming exams. Bye!